welcome back guys to another gear review Wednesday and today we're taking a tour of the storage unit I'm just kidding guys um, today we're gonna be talking about the Rogers Goosebuster three-man a-frame um, look how freaking messy this storage unit is y'all we got crap everywhere ha! yikes we gotta clean it up we got a lot of work to do before duck season starts our little kayak rack is looking a little bit sad uh, so we may need to touch that up my yak's actually sitting over here on stilts and i pff, haven't even broke that thing out in a minute so we got to get this thing cleaned up <coughs> stay tuned for that coming up because we're gonna have to still figure out this whole trolling motor um duck blind issue we'll get that figured out we're gonna be moving our lights off the front of the kayak and putting them up front as well so i got a lot of stuff coming up um we got all our freaking decoys that we need to go through sort out whatever i got so much crap i need to do in this thing it's not even funny before we get carried away if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button guys you'll go ahead and get entered in the giveaway we got going on right now so you can get your chance to win a heron srt3 short read canada goose call uh, that giveaway is running until the end of october so if you're watching this video after october 31st you missed the giveaway i'm sorry but stay tuned because i'm definitely gonna have some more stuff for y'all you can reach out to us on instagram and facebook as well um, if you got any questions for me if you got any video requests just let me know so for me, I can shoot ducks in less than a month, guys. Um, November is almost here. So we are gonna be in full swing for the next month, prepping everything, getting everything ready. We got a duck blind to build for the lake we hunt. Uh, we got work to do on the boat. We gotta figure out the kayak situation. We gotta finish up Boone's training. We got so much stuff coming up for y'all in terms of ducks and waterfowl. So stay tuned for that because this is gonna be a fun next month and it's gonna be a super fun duck season. I'm so excited um, to be making videos for y'all and bring you along on our hunting journey this year. Hopefully we get some cold weather bring some ducks down here so we can make some good videos for you but it doesn't matter because duck season is duck season being out there and shooting birds having a good time being out there with boone for his first season it's all going to be so fun i cannot wait and i'm so glad i get to bring y'all with me so thanks for watching y'all let's go ahead i got the blind right here she's all rolled up let's drag this puppy out there it is let's do it yeah, so that's about how big it is. Um, <laughs> all folded up. Not a big blind. Doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So as you guys can see, we got it all tore down. Um, and basically, you just got all your freaking pipes and sticks and stuff that roll up together inside the blind. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So like you guys saw while I was kind of putting those pieces together, um, these are basically like some heavy duty freaking tent pole type deals. Um, they got steel cable in them um, and they really, they just slide together, that's it. And it keeps them tension together. So you don't have to worry about any snap clips or anything, any buttons like that. You don't have to worry about getting it straight. It really just kind of pulls its whole self together. Um, so this blind literally like puts itself together, which is really awesome. When I'm setting this thing up. What I like to do is put all these pieces together, um, just like you saw me. Um, instead of trying to do it one by one and figuring out what goes where. Put them all together at first, have it all laid out, that way you know where to put together. All set up, let me go ahead and show y'all how to throw this cover on real quick.
Easy as that. She's ready to hunt. So the cool thing is, guys, these doors are overlapping. Um, so when you cinch these things down, there's no gap there. So you don't have this big black hole in the side of your freaking blind. The biggest pain in the butt I've noticed out of A-frames is the blinds just kind of clip together the doors and then they're always swinging open or you never buckle them or whatever. But with these overlapping, I mean, the brush overlaps and it's just one solid piece there, um, which provides a lot of cover on the sides there. So as you guys can see, it's got all kinds of brush loops on it all through this thing. Um, and then it's got little pockets on it as well to shove the bottom of your brush in so it stays in there. And then down below, it's got the pockets down there too. So there is plenty of attachments on here to brush this thing in. It is in a brown color. Not a lot of people are gonna be a fan of that. I know some of you guys are crazy about your camo patterns or whatever, but at the end of the day, you're gonna brush this thing like crazy and you're not even gonna care what color it is underneath because it's gonna be brushed in. Um, it's not a very shiny material. Uh, we typically mud all of our blinds before we brush them in, but I'm not sure that you're gonna have to do it with this one. We're gonna do it anyway, just because of all this bright Rogers stuff on here. Um, so we're gonna really blend that in. But other than that, um, just brush it in. So obviously I'm at the storage unit, guys. Uh, I had some random brush kind of hanging out in the storage unit for whatever I decide to brush in. But really, I mean, just these straps, you're just gonna stubble it in. I'm sure you guys know how to brush a blind, but really just the straps are there to hold it in. You can fill these pockets up and you're gonna need a lot more than that to brush your blind in, obviously. But that's kind of the general concept behind how it works. So moving on to the end of the side of this thing, guys, we got four pockets on each side. So you can shove your drinks, you can shove your freaking shells, whatever you can throw in there, you can fit in there. That way you don't have stuff laying on the ground, getting kicked around, getting wet and nasty. Um, just shove it in the pockets. Everyone really, you know, has three pockets to themselves. Terrible math. Somebody gets two pockets, everyone else gets three. So one of the coolest features um, about the new blind for this year is the gun mounts that it comes with. It comes with three of these, these little gun rests, and they just clip onto these bars, um, and you can adjust them to have your shotgun sitting on them however you want to. Uh, that way you're not leaning your shotgun against the rails or anything like that, so you don't gotta worry about a loaded gun falling over in the blind and potentially hurting somebody or hurting yourself. Um, so a great little addition to these um, that you're not gonna get on any of the other blinds. So I think that's super sweet, um, and it comes with three of them, like I said. Could you fit four people in this thing? Yes, you could. Would it be a little bit tight? Depends on how big the people are. Um, but three guys, you're gonna have plenty of room and you can smack stuff out of these all day. Most common question I get about A-frames, guys, is why do I buy one? What do I use it for? I don't do a whole lot of field hunting personally, um, especially living down in Louisiana. There's just not a lot of fields that we hunt. When we go up north though, um, I do an A-frame is definitely an advantage. Um, an A-frame to me, in most situations, is better than a layout blind. Um, yes, a layout blind, you have a lower profile, but you're up off the ground, you're more comfortable, you get all three guys in there, um, two guys brushing in, one guy throws out decoys, easy as that. So we could fit it in the kayak, we could take it out um, and throw it up on the bank, if, or if we were walking in somewhere. I mean, the thing doesn't weigh much at all, like 30 pounds. I mean, you throw it on your shoulder and you carry it. Yeah, when it's brushed in, it's gonna weigh a little bit more, but it's still not gonna be overpowering. So the thing retails at like 330, I think. Um, the last couple months, they've been running them at 299. I'll leave the link for it down below to the Rogers website where you can buy one of these things, guys, for 299. Um, that's what I paid for it, and it's a great deal. I mean, um, after looking at the older blinds that they made, this one's definitely a step up um, compared to the prices of the other blinds. Definitely your best option, in my opinion. I've been searching around for them. Um, I looked at the panel blinds, I looked at the avian blinds, I looked at all of them, and I pulled the trigger on the Rogers because I think for everything it comes with, compared to everyone else, it's underpriced. I mean, this is a great deal, guys. So if you're on the market for an A-frame or something, um, I would definitely say the Rogers blind is the way to go. And just look at this thing. Super sharp, looks good. Looks like it's gonna be fun to hunt out of. I can't wait. So thanks for watching, y'all. Hit that like button. Stay tuned for more to come.